Hi, I'm Mrs. Hancock. I teach third grade at Stoutville Elementary. This week's lesson was the properties of rocks and minerals. Here's Mr. Croslin to get us started. Hey, uh, thanks. That was a great introduction. You know, I love rocks and minerals. The reason I love rocks and minerals is because wherever I go all over the world, I can look down and find a different rock or mineral. I like to collect them. In fact, I collect so many of them that I have too many in my house. <laughs> so I brought some to show you guys today. See, today we're going to be a special kind of scientist. I want you to write this at the top of the page. You're going to be a scientist that studies rocks and minerals. You're going to be a... A what? Geologist. You're going to be a geologist. Geo, which means earth. Geologist. A geologist. A scientist that studies the earth's rocks. And so we're going to do something a little special today. We're going to look at how we can compare and contrast some of the rocks and minerals on your desk. So here's what I want you to do. Turn your paper over. And we're going to make what's called a T-chart. You know what a T-chart is? Yeah. Every person, if this is your paper right here, this is your full piece of paper, we're going to make a T-chart, which just means do this. Take your paper, draw a line like that, and a line like that through the top of your paper. Okay, everybody do that? And yeah. let's see. You have, you have about 10 different minerals on your desk. What is one way we could sort these? We could sort them by, hmm, what do you think? Yes, ma'am? Color. Color. How about we sort them like this? If they are dark, they go on this side. And if they're not dark, they go on this side. And if there's any that you don't know, guess where you put them? In the middle. In the middle. So dark ones you put here, not dark here. So the dark ones we'll put over here. The ones that are light we'll put over here. The ones you don't know, go in the middle. Go ahead and sort your minerals. Only one person write dark and not dark. Sort your minerals by dark and not dark. Well, this looks like a this looks like a crate, like a spade. This is a nice mineral. Ooh, you know what? Nice I felt one and it was really soft. That was also, uh, a little sparkly. Look, Meg. Explain. This, that's like a light pink. That's like a whitish. That's a clear. That's, uh, almost a clear, but it's a, like a white. That's pink. That is dark with like a little orangish red. And why is that one in the middle? Because, because this has a little bit of dark streaks and a little bit of white. And that is dark. Very good. Very good. So we sorted these by dark, not dark. How about the next person, right? A sort of a different way. How else could we sort them? Anybody? Uh, let's do, we could do, um, we could do something hard. Let's do, before we do hardness, how about, there was a word I heard, when light hits it, and it's so sparkly and nice, and it's luster. Luster. Let's do uh, person. The, the next person write luster or no luster. Sort your minerals and rocks if they have luster or no luster. Go ahead, sort your minerals. Sparkle. How do you know it sparkles? It was sparkles. Every time I turn it, it sparkles. Yeah, you see a little shine to it every time it moves. What do you think, Brooklyn? Right there. So luster. Yeah, that's yeah, that's sparkle. Sparkle. With that one doesn't sparkle, so where would we put that? Right here. Do you agree, Hannah? It's not sparkling. It does shine. Do you think it kind of sparkles? It's kind of shiny with the. We have a great window with that light coming in. I don't know. How about we put it in the middle? Okay. So we, we sorted these by luster. And that was pretty interesting. So we've done two different properties. When you start describing something, that's a property. You notice I haven't asked you to name what these are. Naming comes at the very end. When a scientist, a geologist, finds a rock, they start looking at the different properties. Let's do another one. Here we go. This one, let's make it kind of interesting. Let's divide it not into a T, but into like a double T. So let's do across three 
columns. And this is going to be hard, hard, medium, soft. Hard, medium, soft. Now, if you can scratch it with your thumb, that's soft. So see if you can sort those, the next person, by hard, medium, or soft. Uh, we're sorting, sorting them by hard, medium, soft. Okay, so everything that's in this column, then these are hard rocks, yeah. all of these, and we don't have any that are medium. Did all of you test those? Yes. And you're sure they're sorted right? Okay. I have another property that's going to be kind of interesting that we might try. On your desk, there's a small bag. I like to call it the geologist toolkit. If you open that up, you'll find a magnet. So our last one we're gonna try, our last person make a T box, and it's going to be test each mineral to see if they are magnetic, magnetic, or non-magnetic. Write that and test them. So those are what? Magnetic. Magnetic. So you got some that are magnetic and some that are... Is that magnetic? Yeah. This is... That is? Are all yours magnetic? I believe. <laughs> no. No. Mm, I just so had to say that. Show me which ones are and which ones aren't. Well, these are. They all stick. Yeah. But sometimes you would have to have the stronger magnet to do it. Yeah. Good job. Okay, so you had a chance to test for four different properties. We looked at color, whether it's dark or not dark, luster or no luster. If it was hard, medium, or soft, or if it's magnetic or non-magnetic. Now there are some other tests we can do, and for that, let's get a little bit closer. Okay, so we look at some of those properties. Let's look up close at some of these. So here's one of the tools that's in your bag that you're going to use. This is a tool or an instrument, and it's called a hand lens or a magnifying lens. Okay, so There are two lenses on here. There's a big lens and a small lens, and there's two ways to use these. One, you can put this and hold it and look at it like that, or you can use the small lens like that, or you can put it up to your eye like this and bring the mineral to it. Either way, it's going to be okay. So that's one of the tools. Another tool we have here is in the bag. You already found the magnet. We tested for, ma for magnetism. Here is a nail and a penny. Now, you might say, why do they have the nail and the penny? Well, here's the thing. If you take a rock like this and you can scrape it with your fingernail like that, that's a soft rock. So a fingernail, as you can scrape, is a soft rock. If you can scrape it with a penny, then it's medium. It's a medium. See how that came off of there right there? So that's medium. But if it's so strong that it needs a nail, like right here, this mineral is hard, hard, hard. It won't even scrape by a nail. This one's medium, it scrapes with a penny, and this one's soft, it scrapes with my thumb. And we actually can number these. If something is really, really hard, what number do you think it should be? One through 10, which one should it be? 10. 10, you're right. In fact, the hardest known mineral that we know is right here, it's a number 10. Anybody know what it is, you think? Diamond. 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 You're right, it's a diamond. There's a small little diamond in there, and that's a 10 on the hardness scale. That's a diamond. It will scratch anything else. It's pretty little. Can it scratch your diamond? It will scratch anything. Yeah, it's really, it's very, that's a tiny diamond. Uh, but these other things I have in here are numbered. Like this is a one, so that's the softest. And you have some of that. Scratch it with your fingernail. Fingernail. There's a two. Fingernail. Three, maybe. Fingernail. No. Starts maybe uh, uh, with a piece of copper. Fluorides, four, and it goes all the way up. These are really hard. So this is some minerals you can look at a little bit later. The hardness scale, one through 10. Minerals in the scale of hardness. So we talked about magnetism, 
And I want you to look at some of yours. Like one thing I like to look at is if there's crystals on them. This has flat square crystals on it. Take a look at that. What do you think? Can you see them on there? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Shiny has okay. little ones. And this one doesn't have crystals, but it has layers. layers. And then this one, it has crystals that are all the same Size. shape. Yeah, they're all the same shape. They have that funny jagged side to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our paper over. Okay. Everybody's going to pick one mineral at your table here and you're going to draw it you're going to use your ruler to find out how long it is how wide it is you're going to see if it has crystal shape you're going to see if it's got a magnet and we're going to try to see if it will streak so for example one of the things here is called streak and streak you use a a white piece of tile that's not too uh shiny yeah and you you mark it. For example, what color streak do you think this rock will be? Oh, let's, let, let's find out. Ready? I'll put it up here and let's find out. Can you see? Okay. Ready? Oh, there's a pink streak. Good. Yeah. Uh, what what do you, what color do you think this will be? Green. Green. Okay. Let's find out. White. Look, it's white. That's weird. You think that that would be green but look at the streak was actually white what about this piece right here black. wow what about this piece here no, no, white. no streak no streak here's a piece of this what do you think black. 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 black is golden. Black. No, and so, this one? White. Clear. Yeah, a little bit of white. So, that's a test you can do the streak test. And so, if this was my paper, I would either trace that or draw it. I'd use my ruler to find out how many centimeters long it is, how many centimeters wide it is, uh, the texture, what does it feel like. And then later, you can get out your balance scales and even find. How heavy, it is. How heavy it is. And then you can use your fingernail, the penny, or the nail to find out if it's soft, medium, or hard. Are you guys ready to be geologists? Yes. yes. Okay. Go back to your desk, pick your mineral, and we'll start our test. Hard, soft, medium, hard. Texture is how does it feel? Does it feel yes. slippery, rough, smooth? What's with? How wide it is. That one still is good. How heavy it is. Okay, so one thing we can do is sometimes we'd like to look at some of these when they're really small, and that's called like a micro mineral slide. So I have a paper right here. I'm going to call this my mineral cool. micro, which means small, slide, okay? And so what I'm going to do is, is I, I'm going to take this piece of paper like this. I'm going to fold it in half, okay? And then I'm going to take some scissors and make... One cut, small, one cut. When I open it up, I have a little space right here. See that? I fold it in the middle to do that. I'm going to fold it right here like this on this side. Make a cut here. A cut here. Okay, and I pull that part out. Now I have a little space right here. See that? Mm -hmm. We'll do it one more time. Fold it like right here. And right here, here, and here. And now, I have three places where I can put minerals. And I have three minerals I want to show you. This is called hematite. And it, look, it has luster. It it's actually magnetic, looks silvery. And I don't want to use the whole rock, so what I'm going to do is see if it flakes off. And as you can see, it does. See that right there? Mm -hmm. This is pyrite. And I've been smashing it and made these small little pieces right here. And this is another mineral. Salt. 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 And this, I'm gonna, it's a mineral I'm going to put right here. 
Iggy okay. Grimes. Now, okay. getting back to our slides, so we have three. I'm going to put, uh, let's see, salt in the middle. Okay, hematite on the end, and pyrite here. Okay, so I got these three. Hematite, salt, and pyrite. Now, I'm going to take a piece of tape, and you can do this too. Put the tape on the back of it. See how I did it on the back of it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the stuff will stick. So this, will I say that again? So the minerals will stick. Okay, so then I'm going to push it down right there, and look. Oh, see how that, see they're right the there. The yeah, and so the salt's right there, and so what I'm going to do now oh. is put a piece right here like this. Over, yeah, you can do it at home. Or, now it's going to stay there, and I can actually use my hand lens to study it to see. You can see that. Check it out. That's like cubes. See them? They're like little cubes. In fact, see? you all get to see it. I'm going to actually draw this. Looks like this. It's square. Each one of them is kind of a square. It looks like a cube like that. Now I got two more to make. I'm going to take a little piece of tape on the back. And which one are going to do next? I'm going to do uh, pyrite. pyrite, which is right here. Yep. Push it down. Mm. Yeah, cool. Piece stuck to it. Put a piece over it. Oh. And now I have my pyrite sample that I can look at with a hand lens. Check it out. <laughs> Awesome. Like little square crystals. That leaves me one more, which is the hematite. And that's that little. That's this little pile right here. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, and I'm gonna push down on it. Can you stick to it? Yeah. Got the paper too. Got the paper too. Yeah. And so I'm gonna cover that up, and now I have my hematite sample. Check it out. It's cool. So, here are my mineral micro slides. Would you guys like to make some of these? Yes. yes. Okay, well, we'll try it. Our students have learned a lot about the properties of rocks and minerals. Perfect.